ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start <coughs> with a little known quotation of late Dr. Abdul Kalam. In uh, 2006, he was the guest of honor for the Independence Day celebration of Mauritius. And uh, in a speech addressed to the members of parliament, he said, what is independence without energy independence? This is just to give you something to think about. Dignitaries in the dais, president and members of the Energy and Environment Foundation, and distinguished guests. UNESCO is pleased to be associated this year again with the Renewable Energy Technology Con Congress. This year, 2015, is a special year for the entire world. In about a month's time, on the 25th of September 2015, the 193 member states of the United Nations, which represents the, all the countries of the world, they will consider and adopt a document called Transforming Our World, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, what is more popularly known as the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. The text for adoption was finalized at the beginning of this month, and on the 25th of September, all heads of states are going to take the following pledge. I quote, the document says, on behalf of the people we serve, we have adopted a historic decision on a comprehensive, far-reaching, and people-centered set of universal and transformative goals and targets. We commit ourselves to working tirelessly for the full implementation of this agenda by 2030, unquote. In this document, there are 17 goals covering all aspects of sustainable development, and there are 169 targets. And they will stimulate action over the next 15 years in areas of critical importance for humanity and the planet. And goal seven, out of the 17, goal seven reads as follows. We shall ensure, that is the member states taking the pledge, we shall ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. This particular, particular goal has five targets, covering affordable, reliable, and modern energy mix services. It covers the share of renewable energy in the global energy mix. It covers the improvement in energy efficiency. It also covers access to clean energy research and technology. And finally, upgrading of technology for supplying modern and sustainable energy services for all in developing countries. Now I'm happy to see that this Congress, from the program we say that this Congress will address all these issues covered in the targets thus paving the way for the stakeholders' dialogue that is necessary for ensuring that we all meet the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. Because meeting these goals is a question of our survival and that of our planet. Thank you.